Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about safety eyes. I have always ordered my safety eyes from Amazon for no real reason other than when I first started getting safety eyes, I didn't even know what Etsy was. <laughs> um, I'm sure it was there. I just had no knowledge of it. This was years ago, and, uh, you know, everybody ordered stuff from Amazon, so I found it on Amazon and ordered from there. And I have been continuing to order pretty much the same safety eyes over and over every time I need a new set. So I ordered some and I got them in. I didn't really need these horribly bad, but they had cute safety noses in it that I wanted. So the set comes packaged up in a bag. <laughs> Being careful because it makes a lot of crinkly noise. But here's my set because I already opened it. And it comes with a ton of different safety eyes. Try not to spill on, that would be bad. This back row is the ones that have color on them. They have like a black pupil and then there's red, gold, brown, blue, and clear. And then this middle row is different sizes of just solid black safety eyes. Those ones, the cute ones. And this front row are noses. <laughs> so there's red, pink, brown, and black regular noses. And then in the middle, there are black noses that look like dog nose. noses. Noses. <laughs> just threw that one. That's okay. But they got the little no nostrils and grooves like a little dog nose. I thought those were cute. That's why I ordered this set again. Because the original set that I used to order didn't, they came with noses, but not the textured noses. That's like a new added thing. And you also get two bags of backings. These are the larger size backings for probably the colored eyes, because I've noticed that the colored eyes usually have a bigger post. And this bag is for the rest of them. And they're usually interchangeable. Um, sometimes you get really big eyes if you order a big set of them that need bigger backings, but most of the time, the smaller millimeter ones um, will pretty much go into the same backing because the posts on the back of the eyes are the same size. And I've never had trouble um, with not having the right size backing. I also have a ton of eyes left over. Let me grab those and show you. All right, so this is my other set from, okay, that's not open upside down, <laughs> from that same company. There are tons of places you can get safety eyes though. This is the original set that I bought from them. Well, not the original. One of the back, the other ones. They have two rows of the colored eyes, and the ones in the back are bigger. Big, big. And then the front row is uh, the solid black eyes. As you can see, I've used a ton of these. Uh, it's pretty depleted. And then, I like these little boxes that come in because they're little storage boxes. So they, uh, you know, you don't have to move them to something. And this is an even older these are like bits and pieces left over of over older kits. This container these are in is a Dollar Tree container. And again, it's just a bunch of safety eyes and backings. This is probably two of these leftover bits combined. I also got some um, drawstring thingies in there. But uh, yeah, so I have a bunch of just random eyes in here. These bigger ones, because I don't really use the big ones. I mostly make smaller amigurumi. And uh, I do use these big ones every now and then for larger things like Mary Smith patterns, but I haven't made one of those in a while. <laughs> so yeah, so this is my collection of safety eyes. And like I said, these are the Amazon ones, which I will link below if you're interested in checking them out. There is another um, shop and it's on Etsy and it's called 6060. It's the number 6060. And they sell all kinds of beautiful eyes. They do cost a little bit more than these just regular colored ones because they're uh, hand painted, I'm pretty sure. And a lot of them are glass and plastic, but they're like crazy beautiful. Like there's cat's eyes and dragon eyes and all these really pretty glittery ones. And there are normal ones, but there's a lot of not normal ones that are really cool. So I'll link that below too if you wanna check it out. Um, I've never personally bought from there, but I used to watch another YouTuber who doesn't make videos anymore. She used to buy their eyes all the time and show them and they were just beautiful eyes. But um, I'm happy with these just regular plastic ones. They always work for me. I've never had issue with them coming off, even when Jessie was little. Because even though they're called safety eyes, they're not recommended for small kids. Um, and I've never gifted anything with safety eyes to a younger person. But Jesse's always had them ever since I, you know, ever since he was born. And he's never been able to get the eyes off. I'm not saying it can't happen. It just didn't happen to us. And, um, you know, now he's big enough that he doesn't pick at the eyes anyways. But, uh, yeah, I've never had issues with them popping off or breaking or anything like that. 
So hopefully I will continue not having issues. I also want to insert a little tip. I took a clip that involves a spool of thread <laughs> and safety eyes on how to help put them on because they are a little difficult sometimes to put on because you have to put the backs on there and like squeeze them and um, get them to connect because the backs of the safety eyes have little ridges on them that the little backings uh, slide over. When they slide over that, it can't go back up. Kind of like a zip tie. When you tighten it, you know, you can't go back. And that way the safety eyes on there are good. And uh, there's what they look like when they're on. You can put these uh, backings on either way, but I noticed if you put them the flat side in, it curves around the eye and sometimes makes an indent around the eye. So I like to put them on there with the curved side down so that the eyes stay flat instead of getting like sunk into the, um, the material. But um, there's some patterns you might want to look that way. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to insert the clip about the tip here right now. <laughs> okay, here's a quick tip on how to get the safety eyes on there if you have trouble squeezing them on by hand or um, if you maybe have arthritis or something that makes your hands a little bit weaker so you can't just, you know, force it down because <laughs> they can be a little tricky to put on there. Um, just you need a spool of thread or an empty spool, you know. If someone you know sews and you don't, you could ask them for an empty one. And every spool thread has a hole through the center of it so that it'll go on the machine. So, um, you know, poke the hole through the paper so that you can put your uh, backing on there. And what you want to do is you want to put it, see how there's a flat side right here? And then it's like a bubbled up side. You want to put it bubbled upside up like that on the hole. And then you put your safety eye where you want it sticking through your um, item and then you put your safety eye into the hole on the backing and push and then your backing is on your safety eye down there and your safety eyes are ready to go you probably could use another item other than a spool of thread. I just seen this online a while ago and thought it was neat because that little hole, the um, the little leg to the the eye can go down in that hole if it needs to. But I'm sure you could probably use a lot of different items to uh, use as counter pressure so that you don't have to like squeeze with your hands. I, I can do by my hands, but sometimes it hurts, you know, sometimes it's hard, especially the little eyes, these little tiny, tiny ones. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get a hold of, you know. And um, I've even used like, um, I don't know what these things are called, gate cutters, that's what Devin calls them. <laughs> used these before to squish them down, but that could damage the eye, could scratch it or even break it probably. So um, that's why I thought this spool of thread trick was really neat. So I thought I'd share it with you guys so that you could um, check it out. Okay, so if you stuck with me this long, I am now going to offer a giveaway. This package right here. I'm moving it carefully because it's in really crinkly paper. But it's the same thing I just showed you. It's just a separate kit. <laughs> and I wanted to give it away to one of my subscribers. So if you're interested in the giveaway, uh, leave me a comment below. It doesn't have to be anything particular, but uh, just a comment. <laughs> Let me know that you watched the video all the way to the end. And um, I will draw a winner. Let's see, today is May 14th. So I will give you guys a week. So I will end it on the 21st, the end of the 21st, and I'll announce a winner on the 22nd. And uh, you can be anywhere in the world, just you need to be, you know that if there's any duties or taxes or anything in your country when the package gets to you, uh, you're responsible for that. You do need to be 18 or older and you do need to be a subscriber because I like to do my giveaways just for subscribers only. Um, like the video, share it, and yeah, I guess that's everything. No, it's not affiliated with anybody. <laughs> um, no one's paying me to do this giveaway. I'm just, I just thought it'd be cool. I love using safety eyes. I love making emigrimis. And I wanted to share the love. So, um, yeah. <laughs> YouTube's not affiliated. All that jazz. I don't even know. This company. What is this company called? It's an A word. It's on the back of the business card, but the business card's backwards. <laughs> it's on the thank you side. But, um, nobody's affiliated. It's just me. I bought it with my own money. I'm giving it away. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so be a subscriber, be over 18, anywhere in the country, but if you're out of the U.S. and you have taxes or duties, you'll have to pay them yourself. And also with the COVID-19 stuff, it may take a while to get to you. It took me forever to get it. <laughs> so it might take you a while to receive it, but I will, when I ship it, I will have a tracking number so you can always keep an eye on when it's coming. But yeah, I guess that's everything. I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye guys. Mm -hmm.